Hello, Retro Core Kids. This is that Zoo with another quick play, or let's look at. You now, I know on my Magical Tetris Challenge video on Monday, I know I said I would do a video a week. Well, so, hold on a second. Yeah, I know I kind of flopped on that. So, to make it up to you, I'm doing two videos today. You know, you may notice the theme between the two videos, so be sure to watch both of them. For this quick play, I'm doing Wipeout 64 which is, you may know Wipeout as, as the futuristic racing apocalyptic racer on the Sony systems. You know, but Wipeout's been going on through to PlayStation 1, 2, 3. I do have Wipeout 2048 on PSN, but I have yet to play it. But this is the only Wipeout game I've played, and it's a good Wipeout. Good fun. You know, no, not the crappy TV show that came, not the crappy TV MX, crappy MXC ripoff, American ripoff. <sighs> MXC is great. Wipeout, no. But this Wipeout, every time somebody says Wipeout, I think of this Wipeout. I don't think of the other Wipeout. You know what I mean? That one sucks. It's crappy MXC. MXC was awesome. But I'm not here to talk about MXC. But yeah, this, I never played any of the Wipeout games since I had a 64. I had mostly the Nintendo systems growing up. I don't, I don't regret it, but I wish I had more systems to play. <laughs> but yeah, this is futuristic racing game like F Zero or Extreme G. So yeah, it's, it's, I did rent this a couple times back when it came came out. I never actually owned it. My cousin owns it. I played it. I played it at his house a few times. That's a fun game, you know. I'm gonna see. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick, quick look for you. <coughs> Sorry. So we don't need to look at the. Well, do we? Well, I don't need. Yeah, there's really nothing to do. Oh, well, like you can turn the weapons off, but you know you want to see me suffer, right? So we're gonna leave them on. I know what the controls are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a single race on the track for you. And like this here, you got four classes. This is like the novice class. Vector. Everybody, you move the slowest, and the computer opponents are the easiest. It's like the standard class, Venom. Opponents move. Opponents are harder, and you move faster. Rapier is like the expert class. You move even faster, and the opponents are get more harder. And Phantom is like the master class. You go super fast, and the computers are going to be pretty much impossible to beat. And it also increases the laps. Since you go faster, you can complete more laps. So Vector is two laps, Venom is three laps, Rapier is four laps, and Phantom is five laps. So for fun thieves, we're going to play on Phantom. You may notice that you got pretty much all the tracks available except for the final track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a race on each of the six tracks. And you got four ships to choose from, with the fifth one being un unlockable. And they have five stats each. Thrust is their acceleration. Top speed is the highest speed they can achieve. Turning ability is their turning. Shield energy is how much abuse they can take before they blow up. And aerodynamics? Well, you got me. I know what it means, but I don't know what it means in this game. Normally, I would pick this ship at the top speed, but I'm going to be crashing a lot, so I want something with a bit more acceleration. So, yeah. You're going to be crashing a lot. Welcome. So, yeah, look, look at the HUD here. We're on a checkpoint system, you know, it's the top left. You got a timer. So we got, you can turn the checkpoints off and just race, but I like checkpoints on, you know, it lets you keep up an average speed, you know. But yeah, it's, just, it's, it's like akin to F-Zero on the Nintendo systems. I like both Wipeout and F-Zero, but I did grow up with F-Zero, so I do have a preference for F-Zero. But in like Mario Kart, there's weapons in here. So this green triangle is an autopilot. It's probably the best weapon you can get because it lets the computer just drive your ship for several seconds. And it'll drive perfectly down the middle, so that's good to get. The blue zigzag was the spark. Um, that blue, I don't know. So this red thing is three. It's a triple fire, a dumb fire rocket ahead of you. This, two, this double orange arrow is a speed boost. And also, it acts like the speed booster's on the ground, the blue arrow's on the ground, where you drive over them. And this white circle is a shield, prevents shield loss while you're under its influence. You may notice at the bottom right is your speedometer is the red meter. And the 
and the shield is the tank meter. You may know it's a stagger between two levels. So you want to try to keep your shield away from the upper level. So you want to keep it on the try to keep your shield charged on the lower levels. You got to be careful. So I might want to take the pit. Like F zero, there's a pit near the start finish line. So put the handy arrow here. Oh, also each ship class has a special weapon, which I just got here. I have no idea what this special weapon does, and I just pretty much wasted it, I guess. In their first place, I might actually win this race, we don't know. Since we're playing on Phantom dif difficulties, there's probably going to be a good chance I won't win any of these. If I get in the top three, that's all right by me. But I might actually win this. Nope, second. Second is pretty good, I say. <laughs> So you see these courses, these races go by pretty fast. <laughs> so that's why they give you more laps on the faster engine classes. So let's enter my name in. Zoo. The zoo. Because I'm awesome. Now let's go on to the next race. I think I pretty much said all I need to say. You know, you got your weapons, you got your racing. It's fun. It's fun high speed racing. I will show a bit of the challenge mode too, but I just want to show you all the tracks now. If I die, well, I'm going to just replay it. Here, this this got funky techno music too. I do get in the top three consistently, but tra but the rubber banding on this is pretty bad. It's pretty much impossible to finish first. You may you may get first in your sight, but you're pretty much not going to finish first. And I'm eating my own words right now because I caught up the first in the first lap. Usually don't catch up to him that early. Maybe I'm better at this game than I thought, but probably not. I'm probably just going to lose. Or top three finish is good enough, and I'm falling behind. Lagging behind pretty badly. That record. Yeah. Oh, gotta be careful. I like to save I like to save my speed up for when I hit a wall because you may notice you just stop dead when you hit a wall. So you gotta wanna save those. So smooth sparky sparky. There we go. Rah, 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 rah. Shield. Uh, triple fire, dumb rockets, dumb fire. Yeah. I actually got I actually got the first two tracks to die them pretty well. The rest I don't do too well on. Now, it's pretty fair to compare this to F-Zero because they're both pretty similar, I guess. F-Zero doesn't have weapons, which which is maybe why I like F-Zero more, there's no weapons. To be fair, you can turn them off in here, though. But weapons make things fun! <laughs> At least they're not overpowered like they are in Mario Kart. Well, they're not exactly overpowered in Mario Kart, but... They're just there to help you hit the person in front of you, pretty much. There is a mine power-up, which I didn't get yet. There are two different mine power-ups. There's a trail of mines and a single big mine. Which I didn't, I didn't get either or yet. I forget what their symbols look like. There's also an earthquake attack. I think this is the trail of mines, yeah. The white plus is the trail. The so, purple arrow. It's like a red shell. Ugh. So I'm in, I'm in third. I'm in the top three. Usually want to be in the top three. Good Edu pilot. I might want to hold on to this till the end of the race because that might save me. I'm not gonna hold on to this. Autopilot is pretty valuable. Pretty valuable item. You may notice that you, you eliminate people. You may notice that zero with an X on the right hand side. That those are your eliminations. You can kill people because since you have a shield meter, you can kill people. But I don't. Since we're playing on Phantom, you don't really have a lot of time to kill people. Oh, we're caught up the first. I might actually win this. Holy crap. Autopilot go. Gee, thanks, Autopilot. To be fair, I think you hit with a weapon, too, so. So bad, so sad. So sad, bad dad. Another second place. Ugh. You know, I'm, I know I'm pretty terrible at wipeout. You may notice I'm just hitting everything. But I'm getting the second. That's good enough. So third track. I'm not, I don't know the names of these tracks. <laughs> I'm just going into them. And just random shuffle music. There's no set order to this music. It's on a shuffle. So, so we might get some of them twice. But it's all fun. I look funky. Funky fresh beat. Yeah. Autopilot. A good, a good strategy is the... 
just hold on to the autopilot for when you go on to go into a sharp corner. Because if you're about to fly into the wall, which walls usually cause you to go to a dead stop, you can just activate the autopilot and just avoid stop. That's what I usually do with the with the speed boost arrows too. If I hit a wall and stop, I'll just use an air speed boost there to get up to speed. Yeah, I, I kind of suck at this track, <laughs> apparently. I need to make use of my air brake drift more. I haven't been using them a lot. I hate this first turn. They really much, pretty much give me a middle finger right on the first turn there. The rest of the course isn't so bad to me, for me anyway. Oh, I hate this sparky thing. It slows you down and does consistent damage over time. I hate it when it hits me. I fine when it hits somebody else. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to get near the top top three this time. It would be great if I did, but I'm not holding my breath. Yeah, game, I know. I'm keeping track of my pink. Got to race for pinks. I actually hit, went around that turn without hitting the wall for once. Hooray. If I was better at wipeout, I'd pick the top, I'd pick the top speed vehicle. But the acceleration on this is helping me. I think this, I think this blue X is the giant mine. Yep, that's the giant mine. So I think I showed you all the weapons by now. Like I said, the autopilot's probably the best one. You want to try to hold on to that and use it in dire, use it in dire situations. At least I'm not running out of time. Oh, this green, whatever this shape is, is an earthquake. You send out a shock wave, and it then it bumps up everybody it comes across, and it slows does slow them down too. That's good. It's always good when your opponents slow down. It sucks when you slow down, but it's good when your opponents slow down. Well, I caught up to the top three. That's good. And somebody got eliminated. All right. I think it's our first elimination this video. Well, I didn't eliminate him, but somebody got him. Huzzah, we're in the top three with two, with a lap and a half to go about. Uh, super weapon. I'm not really sure what the super weapons do, honestly. If you know what the super weapons do, tell me. Because I have no clue. I have the slightest idea. So I'm still in the... There's seconds right in front of me. I can see third and second right here. It's just a matter if I can get into the top three again. Will I finish lucky number second again? We'll see. The second seems to be my place. Come back here with my position. As you can see, first is nowhere to be found. First is probably already finished by now. Because the computer is a cheat. We all, everybody knows the computer cheats. Oh, I'm going to blow up here soon. Better finish. Good thing the finish line's right here. Nope, because the, the AI got my way. So I'll take a third. Third out of 15 is not bad. It's, it's the top 20%. It's always good when you graduate the top 20% of your class. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, there's the divorceness, the dourness. I don't know. Divorcing this. <laughs> I'm going to divorce myself from this game. Did we just listen to this one? Oh well. Come on. Good start. Yeah. I am getting better at this. I did practice this for about 30 or 40 minutes before I did this video. I think I am getting a bit better. Just like any game, you need a while to get used to the mechanics every time you play a different game. You see this about a 30 or 40 minute refresher. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I remember this, this, this part here. The chicane here. This part sucks. Oh, that chicane sucks. I hate that chicane so much. Ugh. Whoa. Oh, I, I flew off the track. Unlike up zero where you would just blow up, is white bat resets you on the track. That's, isn't that lovely? That kind, that's kind of them. Sometimes though, you can clip through the you can clip through the environment, which is what you want to do. You clip through the environment, you can skip parts of the track. That way, 
So yeah, you want to try to get up a good head of speed and clip through the environment and skip some of the track. That's what you want to try to do, at least. I'm in I'm in seventh. I'm in the halfway house. So if I can get get up my position, I can't get it up. Sounds like a personal problem. Don't get out of my way. I'm about to die because of you. Take that. Ooh, first autopilot of this race. We need to go around this corner. Well, there's turd. I caught up to the top three. Haha. <laughs> Get out of my way, jerkwad. <laughs> so I'm in turd. I'm in. I'm in a good position. Crap. <laughs> Of course, I want to try to get first, but again, I'm not holding my breath. I'll just settle for the top three. That's pretty good. But help if I not hit the walls. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm lapping you. See, you can't lap the slower computers, which is kind of funny. On the, on the lower engine classes, you usually can, but on stuff like Phantom you can. Funny. Final lap, don't need to go to the pit. I'm going to get turned again. Uh, if you finish four for Larry, you get too bad. So at least I'm finishing good enough to not get it too bad. Too bad, so sad. Bad, bad. Come on, I want at least one first place. It'd be a bummer if I didn't get first at least once. See, what is this? Q's Bridge? Q Bridge? Moron 4, Boron 4, Saka, Sakanana, um, Sokanana, I can't read this thing, but Mokadan, Mokan, Mokan 2, or something. Just Mokan 2. I prefer, I prefer Latte, or Lato, or Latte. Latte is the word I was going for, but also for Mocha 2. Apparently, I don't know how to speak English today. Yeah. Oh, this gives you another big middle finger here on this first turn. You turn right from the get-go. There, a good turn. Oh, somebody got eliminated right away. One less person to deal with, or drone. All right. Whoa. Good. Sometimes, if you air drift around the corners right, you can hit the wall and just sort of bounce a slingshot off them. That's what you want to try to do. And most of the time, it'll just end up hit, flip, coming to a stop. Which, of course, of course only six. Rah. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be winning any wipeout championships anytime soon, but... And I flew off the track. Hooray. At least it set me on the zipper. I'll take that. I, mean, I keep calling, keep calling speed up arrows like that zippers because I played a lot of Diddy Kong Racing. Eh, they call them zippers in that game. I'm gonna call them zippers and you're gonna like them. I might do Diddy Kong Racing eventually. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, then I might show it off. Oh, somebody else died and just stupid drones in the way. Get out of the way. Get out of my way, Nimrod. Oh, I turned too sharply. Get out of my way, get out of my way. This is what I hate. The drones get in your way, and I'm going to blow up. Holy poop, I'm going to blow up. There is, a, there is a shield recovery item. There is a shield recovery item, which I haven't got yet. And I blew up. Let's try that again. Hopefully this time without blowing up. Let's try not to blow up this time. I can't help the computer keep throwing our items all around. It's hard to dodge everything. Good thing you don't lose any shield when you fall off the track. That's good at least. Ah. Get out of my way! Rah. I thought a pilot around this. I think that was a good autopilot. Well, I got that. 
the game likes giving me autopilot to straight. I'm not going to complain, autopilots are the best power up, in my opinion anyway. Especially when you're go going at this speed. Autopilot around this. Yeah. Sometimes the autopilot goes on for a while. It tries to wait until it's going on a straightaway to disengage or just to throw you into the wall. But sometimes it just throws you into a wall. You gotta be careful. <laughs> gotta be careful. Sometimes the AI on the autopilot isn't the best. Super weapon. I don't know what the super weapon does. Yay. I'm sending some hot I'm sending some birdie laughs so that's good. Oh, don't turn too sharply. Dope, 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 dope. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, my commentary is devolving to useless dribble. Just dribble. If you didn't hear it over, if you didn't hear, there is a guy that says stuff every now and again. Guy and girl that says stuff every now and again. No significance, but as I mentioned it, it's just because. Just cause. Ooh. So you may, it may be in your best interest to hit the pit every lap. Because you may notice that I'm pretty much constantly under half shield power at the end of every lap. So it's in your best interest to hit it every single lap. With holding the lap, final lap because, you know, you're pretty much at the end of the race. And it'd be a bummer if he died in that final straightaway. Yeah, like I said, there is a shield recovery power up, but I haven't got it yet. This, I haven't got it yet once this video. Don't think so. I think I got it. This white, yeah, that's the energy. That's the energy power. That little orange E or whatever it is. Now, I'm gonna be bold and skip the skip the recovery the recovery area because I didn't get that shield recovery there. Oh, there's first place. I have a chance of winning this, just matter if I don't screw it up. There, you, like I said, you can get first place in your sights most of the time, but it's just a matter of overtaking them. Uh. Oh, uh, you gotta be careful. Oh, I got a shield recovery. I need to use a shield recovery. Oh, you jerk! Uh. I had a shield recovery, and it won't let you use items while you're under autopilot. Ugh. That's the thing about autopilot. Sometimes autopilot will just kill you. Autop sometimes the autopilot will kill you for you. Ugh, you gotta be careful. I should have hit that shield recovery. Of course, the time I don't hit it is when I blow up. Pooey. Oh well. At least these races go by fast. If you're not having a seizure by now. Still got one more race to go after this, then I'll show a bit of the challenge mode. I won't go for the challenge mode too long. I might just do the first challenge in each in each mode. So I won't show off too much of that. Yes. Yeah. Good turn. Out of my way, out of my way, out, 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 out of my way. I'll when you smack into a wall so fast it just stops you in your track. But yet somehow you're still fine. There, autopilot, that's good. Autopilot, go, go, go. Please don't skip me over to shield recovery area. Good. Sometimes the autopilot will go on for a while. There. I do got a shield recovery. I don't know if I want to hold on to it or waste it for another power up. Oh, whatever. Try to get another power up. Time extension. Every time I see a time extension, I just think of Daytona USA. Daytona USA is probably my favorite arcade racer game. You know, actual arcade racer. Hit. <laughs> Daytona, let's go away. Rolling Stars! Yeah. It also won't let you use items while you have a shield, too. Kind of odd. I can maybe see autopilot, but not being able to use another item while I have a shield toggled is kind of odd. 
and I'm in second. I, I'm in good good position. I still have a lap and a half to go, which is just like the last race. And I eliminated somebody. My zero is now one with an X. So I actually got blood on my blood on my hands now, or soot, whatever. How far ahead is this first place guy? He's not even pinging on my radar. Not that I have a radar, but still. How far up is this guy? I learned my lesson the last time. Take the shield recovery. Oh, there he is. I saw him. So I might have a real chance of winning this. I'm going to catch you, sucker. I'm going to get you, sucker. Not if I hit the wall and the drones keep getting in my way. Run. I have you in my sights. At least, at least I can take. At least I feel, can feel good about never running out of time. At least I'm not that terrible at the game. <laughs> yep, I'm not going to catch up in time unless something really marvelous happens. I got first! Yay! <laughs> Hooray! So we got at least one first. I'm happy with it. <laughs> I'm a winner. A winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a loser. So we got one more track. Terra Firmus. Firmus. Fumus. 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 Okay, let's go. Welcome to Terra Fuma. Terra Fuma. Let's go. Let's try not to blow up because I'm pushing 30 minutes. Getting close to 30 minutes now. The ideal if I don't blow up. Well, doesn't help when I hit walls, but still. <laughs> as long as I don't, as long as I don't blow up, I'll call that a victory. I don't care if I finish under third. Yeah. Game likes giving me the earthquake attack this race. Pretty much got that two back to back. Uh, another chicane like area. Shield recovery. New lap record. Uh, oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Zappy, zappy. He got you. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate chicanes. Chicanes are the evil. They are the evil. Autopilot, go. I avoided most of that chicane. That's good. There we are. We're doing good. Good by my standards, at least. I don't know. You're probably laughing at me. Go. Good. See, that's why I said about flying through the track and glitch and clipping through some of the background. It, it, it wipes out one for the PlayStation. You could clip through objects too, and cheat, sort of cheat, cheat, cheat. Go autopilot. I see turd. You kept, came, caught up the turd. Well, turd passed us. So we're, we're we're in the top three area again. Top three neighborhood. Hopefully we can get up. Hopefully we can get up there. Oh, so third place got blew up. That's good. Less work for me. Okay, they know if my position just jumped to third when that guy blew up. That's good. Out of my way. Thank you. Yes. I have to do the chicane the old-fashioned way now. And that actually wasn't too bad. I'm proud of myself. Didn't hit the wall. Final lap. There's first. We're in this we're in this position again. Maybe we can eliminate him. Be good if we could. Hey, I rhymed. <laughs> uh, yes. I, we might not might not need to eliminate. As long as I don't crash too many times, we should be able to win this. Or fall off the track. Somehow I'm still in first. I'll take it. Yeah. Don't need a shield recovery, so we can just go. Yes, two first place. I'll take it. And never finishing below third. That's wonderful. So I am pushing 30 minutes. I don't know. 
I guess I'll show you one of each challenge really quick. Shouldn't be too long. This is the main modus where you unlock stuff. You got race, time trial, and weapon challenges. And you got six in each. The race challenge is a race. Well, there. You have to try to finish first for gold. And it gives you the conditions on the race side, so you're playing on the vector class. So we're playing, so it's going to be kind of going slow. And it gives you a predetermined ship, too. Yeah. Look how slow this is compared to Phantom. And it's three laps here. I forget, was Vector the slowest, or was that the second lowest? Anyway, yeah, this is kind of tame compared to Phantom, though, isn't it? But the challenge mode does bump up the AI difficulty a bit. So it's going to be really hard to get first here. For the pass, we just need to get third, but for goal, we need first. Probably not going to get it, but oh well. And we don't need the shield recovery. We're not playing on Phantom. I think on the higher difficulty, you take more damage from crap, too. Oh, perfect lap. <laughs> That's the first per Maybe it's I never got a perfect lap on Phantom. <laughs> I guess that means if you don't hit a wall or lose any shield. I guess it means, means if you don't lose any shield. Because man, my shield is still full. Then hit a wall, then get hit by any weapons. Dang it. Now I'm getting hit by weapons. See, that's what I'm talking about. The computers will combo you. You'd be stuck for a couple seconds. <sighs> they get in your way. I don't need to hit the shield recovery. Yes. Get out of my way, jerk. Jeez. That's what annoys me most about drones. They just get in your way. Ugh. So we might need, we might not even get the thir third place targets now, because the AI is a jerk and cheats. We might autopilot. Oh, there's turd. Drive past the autopilot. So we're gonna get, we're gonna hit the bronze middle. At least it's a pass. I'll take it. It's a pass. <laughs> So that's the, those are the race missions. You get they get harder as you go up. And it's pretty much impossible to get first. Time trial is a is a time trial, the single lap time trial. And again, you gotta you gotta target you gotta get a, at least bronze. So you got a bronze time. And you you get an automatic turbo start here. So, so I gotta get so I gotta finish at least 36 seconds. So it doesn't. And you get and when you play time trial mode, both from the main menu and the challenge mode, you get you get a boost power up, free boost power up per lap. So, got go for bronze. I'm just going for bronze here. You think playing on Phantom would be easier going slower, but I'm used to all the pinballing around now. Nope. Come on. No. Oh. Just stroke shy. Hey, maybe if I don't hit that wall this time, that'll be helpful. Yeah, I won't do it too much longer. I am going toward 40 minutes here. I'm going to wrap it up here soon after I do the final challenge. Let's go. Let's try to get a bronze at least. Be a shame if I don't medal. Ah. I just clipped that. That's good. It's not clipping. It's not clipping. It's not good, but at least it's not a full-on stop. There we are. There we are. Didn't hit the wall. Let's go. Bronze. Hooray. And you may see, you saw I didn't pretty much hit didn't hit any of the walls. And I was just good enough for bronze. <laughs> so yeah, take take down as he may as hard as it is to get, if it's hard to get gold. And the weapon challenge. It's basically a it's basically a blow him up type thing. You gotta destroy a certain, you got I think one lap to destroy as many AI racers as he can. So it's not a so it doesn't matter if you finish first or not, it's just about blowing up the other racers. So for bronze I just have to kill one. Shouldn't be too hard to do that. I think it's one left. 
Nope, it's a standard race, so I got three laps here. And to blow up everybody. And yeah, it doesn't matter if you finish first, you just gotta kill everybody. Super weapon. What's this class of super weapon? So, so I'm gonna hang back here. Come on. I can't go too slow, I gotta get the checkpoint to see. Oh, this weapon's pretty good. I just wasted it too. So I somebody did get eliminated, but it wasn't by my hand, so I don't get this point. Come on. I need to kill people. So like I said, I can't hang too far back. I'm just gonna run out of time. Well, people are getting killed, but not by my hand. It's not gonna it's not helping me. So, ah, there, he's hurt. So let him pass me. Yes, so I'm going to get at least the bronze. So bronze is in the bag. In order to carry home the bronze, I just got to cross the line now without blowing up. Which I think I'll do. I want to record the bronze. <laughs> I'll just, I'll go for goals on my free time. Oh, I killed somebody else. Oh, I should have went through the shield recovery area. Oh, well. No, 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 no. I hate those mines sometimes. Except when I laid them. Come on, kill somebody. Ow. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Ooh, super weapon. If you're able to hit everybody with every... If you're able to hit somebody with every shot from this super weapon, you'll be able to just kill them, pretty much. Oh, this is, this thing is pretty good. I didn't even have to hit them with every shot. So, if I... If, I think the gold target is, is five, so... I could have... I could have the uh, potential to get gold here. If the AI don't just doesn't kill itself. <laughs> as long as the AI doesn't kill itself. Well, I need one more. Just one more kill and I'll be good. Um, where is everybody? Where are my targets at? I need something to shoot at. Hello? Hello? Anybody? I just wanna I just wanna just wanna touch you. Not there, but somewhere. I want to kiss you with my, with my missile. If I can catch up to somebody with this. Yes, five. So I think I got a gold on this. <laughs> so yeah, I get a gold on the combat mission. You would have figured. I'm better blowing people up than actually racing. So I am starting to push 40 minutes here, so I'm going to cut this off here. Sorry my commentary just developed into nothing here. There was a multiplayer mode and a separate time trial mode, but I think he had enough. So anyway, I guess they hope you guys enjoyed Wipeout 64 and this double feature with my other video. So yay. Hooray for futuristic racing. Woohoo. See you guys next time.